Hey everybody, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Saturday. Today we're talking about the best way to house your juvenile crested geckos, and that is in a lidless rack system. If you haven't already seen my best way to house your adult crested gecko video, I highly recommend you watch that and then come back to this one because these tubs that we're going to be showcasing are very similar to the ones used in that video. And after I posted that video, there was a lot of response videos made um, bringing up some of the other cons that people thought of, some of the responses to those. And so I'm going to leave my initial video down below in the description talking about the adults and the response videos um, so that you can see those as well and kind of get a full picture here. And just in case any of those videos pop up about these ones as well, you'll kind of have some backstory on that. But there's a lot of good things mentioned in those that kind of apply to these as well. So if you'd like to get a different perspective from some other people, you can check that out. But these are what I'm using for my juveniles. Last time you saw what I was doing for my babies, which will also be down below in the description. So now at this point in time, I have upgraded all of my geckos, I think except for two, and my some of my other fun ones that are in uh, Exoterra's to these lidless drawers or a lidless rack system. So overall, this has really improved the hobby for me, uh, being able to keep the geckos in these drawers that don't have lids, that I don't need to stack, that in my opinion look a lot better than just having random racks with random tubs and lids on them. And so this has been a big improvement for me. Of course, it has cost some money, which we're gonna talk about, but overall, I'm a huge fan of tubs without lids on them. And so I think it's gonna be quite a long time before I maybe switch to a different style of tub, and maybe never. Um, if you've been following the channel for a long time, you'll know that over time I've recommended a lot of different style and tubs and setups and things like that. And so I wanted to make all these videos kind of close to each other because I don't think things are gonna be changing for quite a long time. But with that being said, let's actually talk about the tubs that we got here. So these are kind of in the same family as the adult style. They're from Like It on the Container Store. They have the same benefits as being from the container store. Number one, that you can get them delivered right to your house. And I believe shipping is free over $75. The ones that you're looking at that are the smaller size here are the Like It Modular Short Drawer Narrow. So, and these are in the colorway white. I believe they also come in smoked. These cost $26.99 each, not on sale. But a good thing that was brought up um, by some other creators about the adult ones is that there's basically always a big sale on these on the container store and if you just add them to your cart and you wait a little while chances are there's going to be a 25 percent off 30 percent off sale and i think there's even like a always going on 10 percent off sale so you don't really ever need to pay full price for these these come you know basically on sale all the time so just keep that in mind and if you're wondering these are equivalent to about a 16 quart tub so that's the perfect size in my opinion for a juvenile I go from the six quarts to the 16 quarts, and then this larger size that you're seeing is the Like It stackable drawer in a size medium, and again in white. These cost $37.99, not on sale, and these are equivalent to about a 33 quart, which is perfect for that larger juvenile slash subadult gecko. And then from there, of course, I'd move them into my adult size. So what I like to do is go from the six quart, 16, into this 33, and then into my larger adult sizes as they get bigger. And for me, this is perfect because this is what I've always done. I've always had four tub sizes. I always was using the six quarts. I think before I might've been using 12 quarts for juveniles, 12 or 15, I don't quite remember. And then I was using 32s for sub adults or smaller adults or just big juveniles too. And then for adults, I was using anywhere from 40 to 64 quart tubs. So this is perfect because one of my big things is if you're gonna be upgrading, you can't be sacrificing space for the animal to make your life easier. And so this is a win-win for me because not only have I not had to sacrifice space for the animals, they're getting the same size tubs that they would have always gotten, but it's allowed me to have more animals too in the same space, which was always one of my constraints. I only have one gecko room. And so if I only have so many racks that can have so many tubs, well, you're just kind of out of luck. And so in this same space where I have all these juveniles and I have some extra adult containers, I think I maybe only used to have like 18 adults and then the juveniles. And now I can have adults, I can have a bunch of juveniles, a bunch of sub adults. And so it's really nice to be able to do this and upgrade, not only make it easier on me, but make it easier to have more animals as well and not sacrifice on their care and their size of tank that they'd be living in. So some of the common things that were addressed in the last video talking about the adult tubs 
is the gap in the back, which isn't hasn't been an issue for me on these. As with anything, I always like to test to make sure that I'm gonna like it before I go full blown on these. I have not had any issues with geckos escaping or anything like that. So that's a big one that was really nice. The other thing that was an issue with the adult containers, which kind of carries over, is a lot of them could be broken. The nice thing is that the container store always replaces them, even if it's just cosmetic damage. Like if there's just a crack in the side that doesn't go all the way through, you know, and doesn't affect it and you can still use it, the container store is really good about replacing them, even if they're damaged just a little bit. So that's really nice. And for the smaller size, they're a different style. They're from the same brand, but they're a different style. And I did not have any of these come in broken. They have like kind of a harder plastic shell and not kind of the opaque plastic, but like a harder white plastic. And so I didn't have any of these broken at all. So that was a nice thing as well. And just overall, these have made things so much better for keeping crested geckos. And I would highly recommend them if you can afford them. I know that they're a little bit more on the expensive side than what you might be used to, but I think they are definitely worth it. The nice thing about these too is that you can set them up just like how you would set up any other normal crested gecko tub. I don't really do anything specific to these that I wouldn't do normally. I still use all the same stuff and like I've made some tub setup videos, not so much about the containers themselves, but what I put in them. And you can still use all of those things on these tubs. Um, for the front ventilation that I'm using, on the sub-adult and on the juvenile size, I used a 3-inch. And the reason I did that is because on the juvenile size, the smaller of the two, um, that takes up a good chunk of the front and still gives you good light into the container and good ventilation. And on the little bit larger size, since they're a little bit shorter, I think 3 inches looks good and it's still been enough ventilation um, to keep the geckos happy and not molding. So... That's the nice thing about these too, is you can just do one nice hole in the front. I suppose you could poke holes into them if you wanted to, um, but this was my first time doing vents, was on my adult ones, and I really liked how that turned out, so I decided to do that again on the juvenile and sub-adult sizes. But you're welcome to try other styles of ventilation too if you like. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I can think about these that would be worth mentioning. Just overall, I'm very pleased with these. I'm happy I spent the money and got them. And I'm so happy to not be using racks with lids anymore. If you have any questions about these, please leave them down below. If I forgot anything, I will try my best to get back to you. I highly recommend these. Check out the container store. They're great. And with that being said, I hope to see you in my next video.